So we just listed this campaign here and what I want to do in this video is show you how to add a tracking pixel to the campaign and um, this is this is different this is uh, probably nothing you've seen in any other Teespring course I like adding my own tracking pixel within the actual description of the page as a bitly link it's actually a bitly image link it's really hard to explain sort of so I'm gonna have to show you what I mean um, I'm gonna go in here and edit details because I noticed in the last video there was um, spacing problems here I want a space here and a space there or uh, a hard return I guess. So I'm going to go in and click edit. So I want to put a space here, no a space a return is what I'm trying to say here. And then here as well. Alright so let's just save the changes there. I notice that changes won't save right away. It takes like five to ten minutes before they actually show up live on the actual campaign. So it takes a bit. And I should change that to uh, the third because it went to eight days. So let's change that. Go back to my campaigns. Edit details. And go to the third. All right, save the details. Now, what I like to do now, so this is the procedure that I do. Now, I want to, um, what I do is I put a little image inside my description that's invisible. So you actually cannot see the image. So inside the campaigns edit area for that shirt right here, inside here at the very end, if you hit a, put a space, I'll use the image button here to insert an image right but what I do is I actually don't insert an image I insert a bitly link now what is bitly let's go on over to bitly here I'll just use my my saved logins here uh, bitly so head on over to bitly and I'll just log in here So with Bitly, what you want to do is you want to enter in your a link here to an image. So Bitly is just a tracking, like a tracking um, service. So basically, you just put a link in here. Actually, sorry, it's not tra it's not only a tracking; it's a, a URL shortening service. So you put a big long link in here, and it'll just make it really short like that. But at the same time, they also tracks um, clicks. So if you click on stats for a given link you can actually see all the clicks over time for a given for a given uh, link so what I do is I create a single little tiny one pixel image I upload it somewhere to one of my um, websites and then I take that link of wherever I upload it to I put it into bitly right here and I make a new link and then inside my my account here, uh, my Teespring, where did it go now? There we go, <laughs> sorry. Inside here, that's where I put the bit.ly link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to manually do it, but I also created a whole tool that does it for me inside here with one click of a button. So obviously T-Inspector is the way to do it, but I want to show you how to do it manually as well. So the first thing I need to do is create a one pixel image. It doesn't matter really what you know um, software you use. I'm just going to use Photoshop. It doesn't matter what imaging processor you use at all. So you just go file new one pixel by one pixel. So it's really really tiny. I'm going to go file save as and I'm just going to save it in our folder there. So just in my pilots folder there and I'm just going to call it um, pixel dot actually pixel and I'll select let's say uh, JPEG it doesn't really matter pixel dot JPEG and we'll just save it here but what I do want to want to do is I want to name it a specific name 
And so I'll just name it the same as the actual campaign name. So the campaign name up here is just this part of my URL, drop your gear. So I'll copy that. Let's go back over to uh, my Photoshop. Where did it go? There we go. <laughs> then I'll just do pixel uh, dash control V. So drop your gear dot JPEG and I'll just save that. I could just save it like as five. This it's gonna be the size is irrelevant anyways. And now what I gotta do is I have to upload that to the internet. And um, if you obviously you need a website and you need to use an FTP program. So I'm just gonna use my Qt FTP. Actually, I think I can use one that's free here. Uh, the coffee cup FTP. If I can just find it on my desktop. So here it is, coffee cup, coffee cup free FTP, and you can get that at coffeecup.com. Just type in coffee cup software, FTP software in Google, and it'll it'll show up. So I'll show you right now. Head to Google and just type in coffee cup software, um, FTP. First link that showed up this is the software and you can download it for free or you can pay for it I don't even have the paid version I have the free one and so I'm going to um, log into one of my servers here and to add a server you just click on servers and then you just add in your information so I'm just gonna select one here uh, I haven't used it for a while so I'm gonna see if I can even attach see if I can log into my Amisuite let's connect there we go so I'm just going to um, let's just create a new folder here and I'm just gonna name it trackers and go into that folder and so the way that an FTP program works is the files on the right hand side here are the files located on my server my website the files on the left hand side are the files located on my computer so let's go ahead and browse to where we saved that um, that full that file that I saved to my computer, the pixel file. Okay, where did it go there? There it is. Pixel dash drop your gear. So I'll just upload that to my my website. There we go. It should be done. Now the link for that particular image is going to be triple w oops http so I put it on my Amasuite site amasuite.com forward slash I made that extra folder called trackers trackers the, and forward slash the name of the file pixel dash drop your gear dot jpeg jpg and so if I take that link right click and copy I just want to make sure that it's actually there on the internet so I'll just make a, a new tab here in my browser and just right click and paste at the top and hit return on my keyboard and it didn't find it so it, it didn't get up there Dave went in here and in this actually um, my servers is on it's on a dedicated server so I forgot to go into the actual website folder so this is where it have to be sorry if you're using not a dedicated server then it makes sense but I just put it in the wrong spot so trackers this is my website and now let's upload it and now it should work so let's uh, do that again here yeah there we go so it worked you can't see it because it's like it's a tiny little image but it's there <laughs> so it worked and then what I do is I take this link right click and copy and I head on over to bitly where did I lose my window there it is and I'll add it right here paste and I'll just use the default one that they have here and I will simply just save it but you can actually go up here and edit uh, the, the the text for it so I'll just call it uh, drop your gear save that 
and go ahead and now I have my link and if I go back to your links you will see my link is here now if I just click in here control C to copy and now I have my tracking link now remember this this is just a, a bitly link that's pointing to my actual image located on a server I'm not using the image for anything it's just that I have to put an image on the internet I need a link somewhere so that I can actually uh, uh, make a bitly link so that I can add that image into my um, my actual campaign I keep losing my window there it is my screen is way too big <laughs> so now that I have my bitly link now I finally go back to my my teespring and in here this is where I add that that insert that pixel so I go here and then I paste my link in here and I go insert image and I'll save it All right. so basically what did I do I just added a tiny little image in here of one pixel that you cannot see but I added it through a bitly tracking link so now every time someone comes to this page that will register as a view inside of bitly so right here drop your gear so if you actually look at the stats you can see there's already been three clicks because that's me fooling around and I, I can tell because I live in Canada and it's telling me those clicks are coming from Canada now these clicks are not raw meaning they are they're not totally every time I go refresh it won't always just um, keep adding an, as another view it's it's not totally raw but it's not totally unique visitors as well it's sort of in between I'm guessing um, a, a visitor is classified as unique within a certain time period so like if um, maybe just per day I think maybe for maybe for 12 hours or 24 hours or something like that but, I, but if you go there and if I go to that page and I start refreshing it won't actually address any more clicks but if I come back in like a few hours or something like that and start refreshing it'll it'll register another click but the thing is don't worry about it because um, usually the numbers will match up fairly closely to my Facebook account and I love doing this because what's what's the the best thing about this is the fact that I will be able to see my traffic instantly in real time so as soon as I list my ad on Facebook I will be able to see if someone's clicking in my or going to my page instantly this tells you up to the very minute like every single minute this will register like if I go go refresh right now it'll probably move down a bar yeah it did it moved down one bar already so it's like real-time tracking which is awesome if you're impatient like me and you want to know if traffic is coming from your ad right now so that's how I do it so I add I always add a tracking pixel in every single one of my accounts so judging how difficult it kinda of was fumbling around putting my pixel up there and all that it's not exactly easy is it, it and especially if you're doing like 10 designs a day that's why I built that tool inside of T-Inspector. You see if I did it with T-Inspector all I had to do is first I have to enter in my FTP profile so I have one here for for one of my servers so you enter in your information here and I provide a help video on Teespring or T-Inspector to show you how to do this. You just get to the help videos by clicking the help button at the top there. And once you've done that then you go to trackers and you have to enter in a bitly access token just click this button right here it takes you right to the page and all you need to do is just create a free bitly account and then enter in your password click this button generate token and it gives you this long big code just take that code they'll, they'll put it right here in a box and you just enter it into this box right here once and it will automatically save it in there for you the software will remember that it's in there and then that's it that's all you have to do and so the next thing sorry that's not all you have to do but the next thing we do is create the bitly link so once you do those two settings all you do is you come when I start pumping out shirts I just come in here go trackers and all I have to do is enter in a bitly label and so my bitly labels are always just the name of the shirt because the name of the shirt is always unique 
sorry, not the name of the shirt, but name of the campaign link, I guess. So I take that and I'll just paste it in here. And all I have to do is just create to create a whole bit.ly link. Click this button. The software is magically creating a pixel image, uploading it to my website, which I selected here for my profiles. And then it goes to bit.ly and it creates the link for me. And here's my link. It's that easy. Now I just take this link, copy, and now inside of my editor, I add the link. I've already added a link in there, so I'm not going to add another one. But this, you know, you just go in here and then add your link like this. Boom, and add the link. But I'm not going to insert bo both of them because I only need one. But that's how easy it is to use that tool. So if I'm doing like 10 designs in a day, then boom, it's just like bang, 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 just clicking that button and pasting. It's basically copy and pasting. It's so fast. So that's if you want to add pixel tracking to your campaigns. I do all the time. Because like I said, I love seeing that real-time data coming at me right away when I'm listing my campaigns within Facebook.